We, Dane and Alette from Hikeaholics are embarking on another journey. This time we are in Italy, on the beautiful island of Sardinia. We are hiking the Camino Minerario di Santa Barbara in the southwest of Sardinia. The CMSB is a 500 km long Camino, which is divided into 30 stages. We are hiking stage 11 till 18 from Montimanu to Nuji, 100 km along this beautiful trail. We are walking on the most ancient land in Italy, along mountains, mines, characterized by the millennial mining epic of Sardinia. Welcome to the CMSB. Good morning from beautiful Italy. Right now we're on the island of Sardinia and we're hiking the Camino de Minerario de Santa Barbara or in English the Mining Trail of St. Barbara. Yesterday we arrived at this beautiful, beautiful Posado. Uh, we arrived here by car. We were welcomed really, really warmly by the great organization. So thanks to Margarita and Nicolai for bringing us here. The drive over here was Pretty spectacular actually, it was like on a dirt road and very steep and in the middle of the forest and we slept like babies here because, listen, it's so quiet here. We didn't expect that from Sardinia to be honest. We're spending six days on this beautiful trail. Today is the first day from Monte Manau and it's 20 kilometers to Pubusimo. Pubusino? Yeah, it's 20 kilometers <laughs> to Pubusimo. It should take about eight hours with 900 meters of climbing, 650 meters of descent. So it's a pretty challenging first day, but we're really excited. The weather forecast for this week, only sunny, sunny, sunny. So that's why we brought our sun hoodies. Yeah, like we said, can't wait. We're really excited, right? Yeah, really excited. How's the trail been so far? Really beautiful. It's like wet sands with like Mediterranean landscapes, you know, like olive trees and everything is really dry but really green. And there are geckos sprinting in front of us all the time. It's really cool. I'm really looking forward to it. It's more mountainy than I thought uh, Sardinia would be. And now we are eating a small snack because we are starting the climb in like, I think a few meters. It's a 600 meter climb. 900. 900 meter climb, okay. Maybe I need an extra snack for that. <laughs> Thank you. 
So normally there's water running here and you have to do a river crossing. But it's late summer, it's early September and it's bone dry here. So there's no water at all. There was supposed to be a waterfall, but of course without water there will be no waterfall. Just a fall. Just a fall. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but it's easier to get over the water now. Like to do the river crossing. Mortadella. We just had a lovely break where we had some lunch and uh, now it's only 200 meters climbing towards the highest point of the trail. at a little town called Arenas and we're supposed to get a stamp here for the booklet but all the gates are closed so I'm not sure but I think we just have to continue from here it's five kilometers to the place where we're going to sleep um, I don't know the name but I will write it here uh, so five more kilometers and from here it's only downhill, so not very long. It should take about an hour, two hours maybe. And there, from what we heard, is a very good chef who makes dinner for us. Like and his a good name pasta. is Alessandro. Alessandro, the chef. So, can't wait. Bubusimo. And we are really warmly welcomed by Alessandro. You can see it was a really hot day, so my face is a bit, well, not sunburned, just warm. It was really hot today. Yeah. It was like 35 degrees Celsius, and we were walking from shade to shade, and there were no water sources along the way. Like everything was 
bone dry, but luckily we just took enough water. But now we're waiting for the famous food of Alessandro. Yeah, we can't wait. He's super, super friendly to us and we will show you the amazing food he will prepare. How's the taste? Mm. It's incredible. Ale Alessandro doesn't speak one word of English. So he's everything translating in his phone. So all the local dishes that we don't even know, he has to translate it in his phone and trying to explain it to us. But so far it's incredible, the smell. I wish you could smell it. And the taste is great. And today's hike was really beautiful. Something, to be honest, we didn't expect of Sardinia. Those mountains here, there are really beautiful mountains and beginning of the day there was a very steep climb and afterwards it was a little bit less steep and then we only had downhills but like the technical part today was really a lot of fun and the views were just amazing it was yeah i don't know i didn't know what i expected from sardinia but it was more than I expected, to be honest. Yeah, and, and, amazing. and like a little bit different environment than we're used to. Because this region has a lot of abandoned mines. So there were a lot of abandoned buildings and old roads. Really strange, but really cool. Yeah, it was really like you stepped into history and it felt like the, the, the mine workers could just walk in that instant moment. But it was so, yeah different than we're used to it. Yeah. That's the right word and I absolutely love it. The railway track is supposed to be on the right and it's on the left. So that's how we found out that we took the wrong turn accidentally. <laughs> that's crazy. What is it? Yeah, it's like a never ending tunnel. Enjoying the food every single day. <laughs> met some amazing people along the way like Paolo is supposed to be a famous guy here and we just met a couple of people and we gave them beer and it just really makes this day really special I absolutely love it this is my dream place <laughs> <laughs> 